Hello and welcome back to David's Closet. On this channel, we like to talk about handbags, accessories, and small other goods all from the male point of view. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe, comment, do all the things. I'm trying to grow this channel as you guys know. And now we're aiming for 1,000. We're a little bit over 500 right now. So if you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's a really great way to show support for my channel and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So today I have a fun unboxing. It's not a handbag, but it does go with handbags. So I have here two boxes all the way from Korea. Um, the brand is Zumoni, as you can tell by the title. And if you've ever watched Winnie BLV, Autumn, pretty much all of the People we like to watch here have recommended Zumoni. I will link Winnie's channel below. She actually has a discount code that you can use. Um, she was so kind to lend that to me. When I made some purchases in the past from this company, I ordered them through Amazon and they gave me like a return discount card, but I lost it. So I was able to use Winnie's, um, which was pretty nice. I don't want to show any information, but they actually have pull tabs on these, so that's going to be easy to unbox. Um, anyway, so yeah, I purchased through Amazon, and I ended up going through Zumoni's website because it's pretty much a wash, you know, given the discounts and things. I had a little bit of Amazon credit I've used in the past to purchase through Amazon, which is why I've always made these purchases through Amazon. But since I don't have any of those right now, I didn't have any credits or returned items um, to Amazon, so I needed to pay my, my hard-earned money for these. So that's why I decided to go ahead and buy through the website instead. Using their website is a lot easier than Amazon. Amazon, you have to basically reference their website for the colors, the styles, making sure that you're getting everything you want, and then you have to go try to coordinate that with the drop-down menu on Amazon. So it's much easier to order through their website. And I'll be honest, the ordering was pretty quick. This came to me in about a little under two weeks, I think. Um, and a couple of mine actually, according to the website, had to be custom made. They were not in stock. So I was pretty pleased with that. When I had ordered through Amazon in the past, it probably was about the same turnaround time, you know, a week or two. And none of those were stating in the listing that they were going to be custom made for me. So I think if it's something they have in stock, it's a little bit faster uh, turn time. If they make it, it takes a little bit longer. But overall, I'm not mad about the ship time at all. Um, you do have to pay for shipping. So that's why I went ahead and you're going to see I ordered three organizers. I was originally going to order one, but since I had to pay shipping, I might as well get more bing for my buck. So let me go ahead here and get these open. And they do package up really, really well for you. Um, I know Winnie raves about this company and I have now two organizers from them and I'm very pleased. I do have a couple of my cheaper Amazon organizers that I think are just as nice, but overall I can see where these organizers are better quality. These organizers are more custom fit than some of the Amazon ones. And I'll go into that a little bit more after I show you what ones I bought. Okay, and there should be three in here. There's two boxes, so I'm not sure how they package them. But after you take the mailer off the outside, kind of like the one I ordered from Amazon for my Givenchy, or not my Givenchy, um, my Goyard Artois. Uh, my name is written on the box, David. And the same for this one. So that's kind of cool. It kind of makes you feel like you're buying from a super small company. And now this box did get a little bit dinged up, but it should be fine for what's inside. Nothing super fragile inside. Now I know there's a lot of companies that make organizers. A lot of people buy them on Etsy. Um, like I said, I know I've talked about before, Amazon has quite a few to choose from. I like this company because a lot of the organizers they have are for very unique bags. And you'll see here, the ones I bought are bags that you don't actually see organizers for. Um, when I first got all of these bags, I actually tried to buy organizers on Amazon 
and there wasn't any. The only company that I found that made them was a company like Zumoni, and they are more expensive, obviously, because they're a little bit more custom. So I've been holding off, but I do like that because, you know, the generic ones you can pretty much get away with for bags like a Speedy, a Neverfull, the really common bags. You can get away with a less expensive organizer than a custom bag or a less used bag. An example is my Chanel Grand Shopping Tote, and I'm going to do a video comparing all the organizers I have later. But I bought one from Zumoni for my first GST, and then I purchased an Amazon one for my second. And the Amazon one works fine, but the Zumoni one is just a little bit more of a snug fit and gives the bag a little bit more structure, which I like. Because I'm not using an organizer in a bag like that because it needs organization. The bag is very simple. It has two side pockets and a zipper. I don't really need an organizer. It's to protect my bag and help keep its shape. So the first box, here you go. You can see the color of what I got. And I'm really excited about these, but a little bit nervous just because, like I said, these are bags you don't see organizers for uh, very often. And a lot of people, I feel like, custom order these. So here it is. This is Zumoni. And then it has a little card. And then it's nice and wrapped in cellophane. So it's nice and safe and clean and protected for the journey across the world. And I'm sorry for all the plastic noise. By the way, Zumoni, if you want to sponsor a video ever or you want me to help you out. I would love to because I definitely am a fan of your products. Um, so I ordered three different bag organizers and I'm not going to show you what they're for yet, but there's a little sticky note on this card that says the bag, which I like. Um, and then the other side, of course, is just their little um, logo. And then on the back, it just has care instructions telling you not to dry or to dry clean, do not ring, do not bleach, and a medium iron if you ever have to iron them. Put the sticker back on though. I also get a thank you card. So this one I got in a brown color and they have a lot of options guys. They even do custom orders. Um, so first off you always get a little card holder made of the same color which I do love. I do use these when I'm going somewhere and I don't want to take a full bag. Um, so of course you have the Zumoni logo. I like symbol organizers, so just some slip pockets on the side and a center, and then a couple slits on the outside. Um, they do have different configurations for each of these bags. Not each of them, but majority of their bags do have differences. So keep that in mind. Um, when I get to one, um, I don't know where it's at in the lineup here, but I ordered one that had multiple different configurations and I will go over that. So the one that we just opened was actually for my Turan MM. I've been looking for an organizer for this bag since I got it. The bag is really well shaped and structured, so it doesn't necessarily need one. Um, I would just love one for structural purposes and protecting the inside of my bag. Um, I currently have a homemade base shaper out of an old cutting mat. And then here is the inside of the bag. There's some dust. There are a few little oil droplets that came that way. Whoever owned it before, probably some sort of lip oil or something leaked um, this bag was one of my first fashion file finds and go looking back on it, I probably would have paid a little bit more and gotten one in a little bit better condition, but I have what I have and I love it. So here's the organizer and I'm gonna go ahead and drop it on in and we are going to see how this works. All the organizers that I had tried to find over the years just really didn't work for me. I didn't like the way they fit. Um, and I remember watching Autumn Beckman because she's the one that convinced me to buy this bag. And she used, I think, a Veracord organizer in hers. Hers I liked because it was a rounder shape, so it didn't box the bag. But everyone I found was more boxy, and I just didn't like that. So here it is. This one is boxy, but it's fit to the size of the base of the bag. I tried to find something that matched the interior of my bags. Um, at least for this one. They had a color that was called, I think, berry, but it looked more maroon than this like oxblood color. So I went with this light brown. I'll throw the color code up over here so you can see it, but that's what it looks like. Um, like I said, nothing super crazy. Um, I just wanted something to kind of protect the inside of the bag and all of that lovely stuff. If you look here, 
there is the date code sewn into this bag. It doesn't really impact that very much. And then on the other side, there is a D ring and it doesn't really impact that. And the slip pockets on the actual bag are still accessible. And then it also doesn't bulge the bag, make the bag look or feel funny. It gives a little bit of support. I'm very pleased with this one. Here's the second, and this one contains two, so they did package all three of them. Next, I think I chose the same color as the last one. This one's a little smaller, as you can tell. And this one I believe is the one that had to be custom made. So this one's a little shorter, a little smaller, and it tapers a little bit. Same thing, it comes with a little external card holder, the tag with the bag that it's for, and the interior configuration is roughly the same, uh, but it has a pocket over here. And that is for my Louis Vuitton Tivoli PM. This is the one that I was so shocked when I saw it on their website and I wasn't going to buy it. I actually was buying the last one, which is the gray one that you've seen. That was the one I originally was going in for. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, well, I need to buy this one too. I've never seen an organizer for this bag. So here's the inside and this bag is very uniquely shaped. It's kind of domed. So here this is, now I will say it definitely doesn't look quite symmetrical. It's a little bit wider on this side than this side, but I think that's going to be okay. color on this is definitely a better match. Now this one, this one, the way it fits on the outside, I do like it. Again, it doesn't bulge the bag. It gives a little bit of support. Now on the inside, and I was a little worried about this, it definitely makes the inside of this bag a little bit smaller and it's not necessarily Zumoni's fault. This bag is just oddly shaped. This tapers in, which means you have more space up here, you lose an inch, and then it gets bigger again down here. It's probably really hard to design an organizer to accommodate for that. So, you know, I'm not gonna be too upset about that because it doesn't fit as snug as I would like, but there's also pleating on the front that you don't want to deform. If you've ever seen Autumn Beckman's video on her Trevi GM, you don't want that. So the color is almost a perfect match. I love that. I love the way it works. I am going to probably try to carry each of these bags over the next couple of days because um, I'm going to do, like I said, a big bag organizer video and I can give a little bit more feedback. But overall, I'm very pleased with this. I'm glad to have something to help protect the interior of this bag. With this bag being vintage, or not quite vintage yet, but getting there, I worry about the base of it. There's not a lot of support here. So when I put a lot of stuff in it, it does sag a little bit. So I just wanted something to try to protect that. This is the one that I could configure. The configuration options were to have two of these, what I call water bottle pockets. So you could have another one over here. I don't like the water bottle pockets. I don't put water bottles in my bag. So there's a potential I may actually cut this out. My Goyard also has this. And in that bag, it's so large, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. But this one, I may actually snip this off because I just don't think I need it. But here is the organizer. Of course, the same configuration, same goodies and the name of the bag written on here for me. This tag is a pretty blue color though. Love that, I love blue. So, now what bag is this for? And this one's a little bit bigger, so it has a little pocket over here. Very similar of a Speedy Organizer, um, but a Speedy Organizer size-wise was not a good fit for this bag because I tried one. And what bag is it you're asking? So my Givenchy Antigona, that's been my bag of the week this week. So let me real quickly, well first off actually, I'm gonna show you. Here's what it looks like stuffed, all of my stuff in a black hole. You can't see anything in there. It's kind of hard to get in and out of these bags anyway, just because of the way the handles are, though they're gorgeous. They're just not the most practical for daily use, um, but that's not gonna stop me from using her because I love her. But I'm going to take all my junk out of here. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to try to get this 
inside of the bag. So what I'm going to do is put the side with the extra pocket in the front because that'll offer a little bit more padding for anything, you know, that might bulge out. I try to avoid, you know, anything that could damage my bag. So that gives a little bit of extra padding towards the front because I'm not going to put anything in that slip pocket. All of my Amazon Speedy organizers have that same pocket and I never put anything in there really because it's just not super practical in my opinion. So at a glance, when I'm putting it in, I kind of have the same thought I had with my Chanel GST that, you know, oh, this is too big. Um, but as I'm kind of, you know, pushing it down and, you know, forcing it to do what I want it to do, um, it's really molding to the side of the bag the way that I feel like it should. So now here's the inside of the bag now. Isn't that so much brighter? I could have bought a black one because most of my bags I like to match. But if you remember my Chanel GST, I bought the same color here. I think it's called Heather Gray because I want to be able to see in my bag a little easier and this reflects light. Therefore, when I'm, you know, at a restaurant or a store and I open her up here, it's just so much easier to see. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. So I spent on these and I'll put the exact dollar amount because I don't remember exactly what I spent. Right at $100 I think is what it was and like I said I'll put the exact amount here and that will include my discount from Winnie. Her channel's linked below. Um, now yes I could have gotten Amazon organizers for 15 bucks a piece. That would have probably been close for most of these bags but these bags are very very expensive. So like this one it's too expensive to mess with. Yes, a Speedy 30 organizer I think would have been okay, but the depth of this bag is not as deep as a Speedy, so I'm afraid it would have kind of left indentions from the corners of the organizer. So I really wanted something made for this bag because this bag is very special and it's very, very expensive and I want to take care of it. So that was worth the dollar amount here that I spent on it, in my opinion. This one, I already told you guys, it's a very odd shaped bag. I couldn't find anything that would be even remotely close. So when I saw that they had one, to me, it was just a no-brainer. And then this bag, same thing. It was very hard to find something that would fit. I found a few that dimension-wise were either just a hair bit too small or a hair bit too big. And I'm sure I could have made it work. But again, I'm afraid it was gonna leave some weird intentions. And these bags are just too expensive to damage. So if I'm not confident with an organizer, I'm not gonna put it in there. Um, so that's why I went ahead and picked this up too. These bad boys, they need to be safe. Well, I hope this video wasn't too boring. I'm sorry if it was, but I have a couple of really cool things coming out. Um, I'm going to start doing a Wednesday videos. Um, I'm not gonna commit to every Wednesday, but most Wednesdays, I'm gonna try to do some shorter videos. Um, I'm going to do, I think some cooking, pieces to kind of go more towards the lifestyle portion of my channel. The main focus of my channel will always be handbags, but I wouldn't mind trying to do a little bit more and I don't know what's going on here. So um, keep your eye out for that and please subscribe to my channel and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys!